Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aquarius Love Prediction Reading for December 5th through December 11th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, eccentric, kind, sweet Aquariuses. Show me what's going on with my kind, loving Aquariuses. Show me, spirit guides, what's going on with my Aquas. Let's see, Aquas, what you got going on. Four of Cups. The Temperance card. Three of Cups. The Knight of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. <sighs> well, Aquarius is, you know, you lead off this reading with this four of cups, this four of cups here. You know, you keep trying to avoid this person. You keep trying not to give your heart to this person. You keep trying to do your same things that you always do, you know, trying to be, um, act like you don't care, um, kind of just be very uh, mild tempered and mild mannered and just, you know, being a little bit uh, empathetic about this. That's what you're trying to show. That is what you're trying to show this person. But for some reason, and I'm going to tell you, this person sees right through you. And no matter <laughs> what you try to do, and the reason, I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to let you know. But here is this temperance card that's next to them. There's something, but the reason this person sees through this, 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 I don't know, this veil that you try to put up. The reason they see through that is because they, they feel your heart space. That temperance card lets me know this is someone that you can get close with. You have been close with. You um, There's a special intimacy when it comes to you and this person. I don't know what it's about. It's just the energy between you two. And you try to act like you don't care, empathetic, you know, just kind of be, do, do what you do. But you care. You care. You do care. You keep trying to act like you don't, but you do because this temperance card lets me know there's a special intimacy when it comes to you and this person. This is even this is not even a, a intimacy that's about always about um, sex. This is an intimacy that's much deeper. There's a deep intimacy here. Now here's the three of cups. You have big fun with them, and it's in the middle of your reading. That's also how they see. You know they understand. Um, maybe you have certain situations. I don't know, but they just see you for who you are. That's all. I mean, they just see you for who you are. And that is amazing because sometimes when Aquarius, you know, you don't like people to see who you are. You want to know everything about everybody else, but you really, it's hard for you to let people in. But for some reason, all of this grandstanding here, trying to hold up and not letting them see who you are, you don't have to. They see you. They see who you are. You have big fun with them with this Three of Cups. And also you have here is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. You you tell them about your love. You know, you tell, you know, you can't help yourself. You have to tell them. It's something when you're around this person, you have to tell them um, about um, what you, uh, you know, the love, the compassion, the kindness, the goodness, how you could be there for them, how you could, they can trust you. You always have to let them know because really what you want more than anything, you declare your love for this person because you really don't have to because they already know. But you, you find yourself talking with this eight of wands to them. You find yourself telling them everything. Things that you don't tell other people, you find yourself telling them that. There's something about this person. There's a special intimacy here. A special closeness here that is deeper than just sex. And I'll say that again. 
Um, but here is this Knight of Cups, you know, there's something, you you declare your love for them every time you see them. And it's not always, even though that you do tell them, you have conversations with them, but you know, it's something about this person that you don't even have to really tell them. It's something about even when you're silent in the room with them, the feelings flow with them, the, um, your hearts, your heart spaces with them, even though you've been trying to act like you really don't care, you're aloof or whatever, you need to stop trying to, trying that because it's really not worth Working. So now if this is your read, if you give me three to five minutes, I'm going to clarify because I really want to know what additional information the spirit guides want you to know. I'm going to clarify this reading just to see what additional information the spirit guides want you to know. So let's see. Show me spirit guides. Sit back, relax. Just give me three to five. Um, um, let's see. Why is this four of cups here? Show me spirit guides. Why is it four of cups here? For my Aquariuses, for my Aquas. Why is the Four of Cups here for my Aquariuses? Let's see. Oh, you got the Seven of Cups. You know, Aquarius, here's the problem. And I see what the problem is. You're trying to give, not give them all of your heart space because you feel like, you feel a little bit insecure with them. You don't feel like they have your, um, that you're the only one. That's what this is. There's some insecurity here because Seven of Cups means options. There's a lot of different options. And I, I'm not saying that you don't have options. But with this person, you really don't care about the other options. You want this one option them. But they also have options because they have options. And you really need them to understand. But you're afraid to let loose. You're afraid to open up all the way. But it doesn't matter because you do anyway. Because, but here's these different options. And it, it causes you to have a little bit of insecurity. That's why you're afraid to give your heart space totally to them. Four of Cups, you're afraid to give all of your heart space to them. But it's almost too late. You've already fallen. You're already in it to win it. You're, uh, you're already loving on them. They're already, um, they see you. Huh. So let's see why the Temperance card is here. Show me Spirit Guides. Why is the Temperance card here? Oh, I have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. So, the King of Pentacles is on the t over the Temperance card. This person is also very well, very grounded. And that's something that you don't have. They bring you back to reality sometimes. Because, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, of course, you can be in, you know, in the clouds. That's just how you, that's how you think. Sometimes what you think is a little odd to certain people. But this is a King of Pentacles person. And the King of Pentacles, though, here's here's the deal with the King of Pentacles. They you, they have you to be very careful with them because they have money, and I do believe that they take care of you as well. They know how to take care of you as well. Um, and the King of Pentacles is an energy of grounded. This is someone that's very grounded. It can be a Capricorn, Taurus, um, or um, a Capricorn or a Taurus for sure. It can be with this King of Pentacles. Um, and they're very, very, or Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but they're very grounded and they bring you close into them, but they do have money. King of Pentacles. Now they have, they have the money. They know how to take care of you as well. They're very well grounded and know how to take care of you, but they also bring you into reality because sometimes you're not into re in reality. So let's see why the three of cups is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the three of cups here? Oh, I have the ten. The ten of pentacles. The ten of pentacles. This person completes you. And when I say completes you, um, and it's over the three of cups. Huh. This person is, like I said, I see groundedness here. And they bring they bring a sense of stability to you. This ten of pentacles means they check all your boxes. You check out. There is something about this person. They have what you need and what you want. Um, ten of pentacles. Money. Home life and the ten of pentacles next to the king of pentacles this is someone that definitely has money someone that has money home life um you enjoy them it's not just about their money but they do have money you'll never have to worry about that and here's the three of cups they also bring fun so it's someone that you've not normally had either they're not stuffy they they know how to kick it they know how to have a good time they give you a whole new sense of pride and when I say sense of pride, you know, when you walk with them, when you're with them, there's something that's special. This intimacy, this closeness. They see you too. You can't put up a facade, facade with them. They know exactly who you are and what you want. And this is what you want. You want a happy family, happy life. 
And they bring that to you. They have all of that. They bring that to you. So let's see what a Knight of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit Gods. Why is a Knight of Cups here? Oh, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. So here's the deal. As I told you before, you my Knight of Wands. It's over this Knight of Cups. And I strongly believe that you have been in an on and off relationship with them because Knight of Wands is very much an on and off relationship. It comes and goes. It can be, um, it, but, but, but here's the deal with this person, you cannot tell them, you cannot keep saying that you want to be in a Knight of Wands relationship with them because you want so much more, but you don't even have to tell them. And I, you are going to tell them, you are telling them, but you don't have to because they see you. Like I said, they know exactly what you want. Knight of Wands is an on and off relationship, but what you want now with this Knight of Cups is you want stability. This relationship, but you want this stability now. You want that because what they bring to the table is too much to let it go. You want that stability with that Knight of Wands. And here's that Eight of Wands here. You're having this um, these conversations. Let's see. Show me, Spirit Guides. Because here, look at this. You want growth. You want growth. You, you've matured. You've grown with them. You want growth. You're, you're t letting them know that you want, you are ready now. You are ready to, t to settle down. But it doesn't matter because here you are. You, you, but you're a little insecure here in the very beginning with this Four of Cups. You're, you're trying to say, I, I don't want to do this. And this, I really don't. I, I give you so much in my love, but I'm not going to give it all to you. I'm going to hold back. But it doesn't matter because they see you for what you are. This temperance is a special kind of intimacy with you guys. And I'll say it again. A special type of intimacy. But you're a little insecure because they have options too. They have options too. Normally it's you that has all the options, of course, but they have options too. But here's the King of Pentacles. This is someone that is very grounded and they ground you as well. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, very much. Someone that grounds you. Three of Cups, you have a great time with them. They are all about fun, having a good time. They know how to go out and kick it as well. And not only that, they check all your boxes with that Ten of Pentacles. They make you very, very happy because they check your boxes. Happy wife, happy life. You see that kids a family a home they complete the things that you want um and here's this knight of cups here and the knight of cups is you beginning to tell them i no longer want to be in this knight of wands type relationship this on and off relationship this this relationship that's not stable i do want stability and here you are with this eight of wands you're having conversations with them because you're letting them know with this knight of cups here this is what i want but you like and i'll say this again they see through you they already know that and here you are maturing with that seven of pentacles. That's growth there. You're maturing. You have matured. You know what you want now. You're not no longer playing the games that you may used to have played. You know exactly that you want them. There's no questions asked now. You know what you want. So let's see. What does my oracle cards have to say to you? What do they have to say? Oh my. Success. They say success. This is going to be your, this, this is your person. This is your person. It's your time. It's your time to have love and stability. It's your time to get what you want out of life. And that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Aquarius.